everybody has their tribulations. And it's very rare, people that have happy time, wonderful life, all that, those people are rare. But Ibn Abbas said, the foundation of dunya is tribulation. The best worship is waiting for the ease from Allah to come when you're in hardship. So if Muslim would just have that perspective, they would realize that if I'm just patient here with all these tribulations, I'm in ibadah. You could just be sitting in your house. And if you're muhtasib with Allah, you're in ibadah. But if you're there complaining and woe is me and everything's horrible and it's doom and gloom and it's all black and it's all dark, Allah will give you more things to complain about. And He'll give you some real things to complain about because there's a hadith, if you complain about small calamities, Allah gives you great calamities. And that's why Ibn Abbas said that in every ni'mah, there are three ni'mah. In every tribulation, there are three blessings. And the first one is that it could be worse than it is. That it's in your worldly matters and not in your deen. Like if you lose money, is money. But if you lose deen, you lost everything. So that's a ni'mah. If it's, لا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا. I mean, if you think about it, he didn't say, لا تصبنا. Do you see the dua? He didn't say, لا تصبنا يا Allah. Don't give us any calamities. He said, لا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا. Don't give us tribulation in our deen. We're going to get tribulation. And we know that. Because that's the nature of dunya. So you're going to get tribulation, but don't make it in deen. Make it in dunya. So that's a ni'mah. You lost your job. Alhamdulillah, I didn't miss my prayers. Alhamdulillah, I, I didn't lose my iman. Alhamdulillah, there's wudu and a place to pray. Because jobs come and go. But deen, once it's gone, Allahu alam if you'll ever get it back. And then the final one, it's in this world. It's fid dunya wa la fil akhirah. As long as the musibah is in this world, it's a ni'mah. Because the real musibah is the musibah in the next world. So if you look at that and realize we're in blessing, wallahi, the whole lot of us. Some may be more than others outwardly, more observable, but the whole ummah is in blessing, wallahi.